Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mrs. Trippett, and I am here today to talk to you about STEM, what it means, and why you should care about it. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to picture a mathematician. Do you have an image in your mind of what a mathematician might look like? I want you to open your eyes and compare it to my mathematician. This is Esther Babasi, and she's the first female commercial pilot over in the country of Rwanda, which is in Africa. And she clearly has evidence of all the math she has to do before she can take off her plane. And while she's flying her airplane, you can see all her switches and toggles. So she is an example of a mathematician. I want you to close your eyes again, and I want you to think of a scientist. Find a picture of a scientist in your mind. All right, open them up. Did your scientist look like two you you? She is a chemistry and biology scientist, and she actually found something that would help cure malaria. So she saved millions of lives. And in 2015, she actually won the Nobel Prize for Medicine along with her teammates. All right, so I want you to close your eyes again. You know what's coming. I'm going to ask you to picture an engineer. All right, somebody who does engineering for their job. Are you ready? Okay, this is Kim Kruger, and she is an engineer. She works for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and she works on the Oceanus Explorer, among other ships, and she is their chief mate on many of their expeditions to do deep, deep diving down in the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico to learn more about what's at the bottom of our oceans. All right, you may see the pattern now. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes one more time, and I want you to picture someone who uses technology in their daily field of jobs. This is Abdegani Diriai, and he is from Somalia, and he's a computer scientist, and he actually has gone back to Somalia to do a, a, create a think tank. So his company is basically a place where people in Somalia who have technology ideas or they want to make improvements upon designs that are already out there, but they just don't know where to start, they come to Abdegani and his company helps them get started. All right, so this last one I don't want you to close your eyes for. I want you to just turn and talk to someone next to you. And I want you to t describe to them an artist, someone who makes a living creating art. All right, I'll take a look up here. We've got Lienzo. This is a design company in Mexico, and they create and design graphic games for computers. So if you're a gamer, you may have played one of their games, and you can see some of their characters here in the picture. So the point of all this is to show you that people who do math or people who use science in their jobs are not the people always that we think of, somebody in a lab coat or somebody who has a calculator in their hand. Many, many people work in these fields. I'm going to talk to you more about that today. Uh, when they work in these fields, usually they're hoping to make our world a better place. So what does STEAM mean? You may have seen this before. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, the Arts, and Mathematics. But it's more than just an acronym or a bunch of words strung together. Uh, many people who work in these fields, the science or the mathematics or the engineering fields, they actually are using a combination of skills from more than one of these fields. Um, people who work in these fields, they may be studying science, or they may be using math, or they may be creating technology, or they may even be teaching some of these ideas. Um, so I want to give you an example. About a week ago, we had an incredible lightning storm here in St. Pete, and unfortunately, my house got hit. Um, nothing was really damaged except my big screen TV, which we only bought about five years ago, so I was kind of upset that I had to go shopping for a new one. So when we went out, uh, my husband and I, we noticed, wow, in five years, the quality of TVs have improved just tremendously. So from our old TV to the new TV we just bought yesterday and installed, they have gotten better, clearer, bigger, and more interestingly designed. Someone looked at the old TV type that I had five years ago and said, how can we make this picture nicer? So they decided, well, we're going to put four times as many pixels in it. So it shows you four times as much detail in the picture. So the one I have now actually has eight million pixels, which is incredible.
Then someone else looked at it and said, well, how can we make somebody who's watching this TV feel more like they're inside the TV, almost like it's three-dimensional? So they did some studies, and they decided that they wanted to make the TV curved. So we bought a curved one. And then someone else said, well, that's all nice and all. You guys made the picture nicer, and it's curvy, so it feels like we're there. But we don't want just an ugly black box. We want to make it look nice, so people want to put it in their home. So there's an element of art to the TV we bought yesterday as well, because it needs to look good. So again, people who work in these fields, they aren't just doing what you think of in first thoughts of science and mathematicians and, and engineers building bridges, but they do so much more. And they're always making our lives safer or easier or just more enjoyable, like the people who worked on my television. So what's the value of STEAM education for you? Why should you even be interested in this? Well, there are jobs right now in the STEAM fields, and they pay good money. And that pay is always increasing because they're in high demand. In fact, a couple of years ago, in 2016, U.S. News and World Report, along with a company named Raytheon, they did a study, and they found that in that year, there were 30,000 new STEM grads, so new people coming out of college with degrees in STEM or the STEAM areas, okay? So 30,000, it sounds like a lot, until they did the other half of the study and realized there were 230,000 new jobs in the STEAM or STEM fields that year. Those 30,000 people weren't going to be able to fill all 230,000 new jobs. So this field is always expanding. It's not going away. And there's going to be opportunities in these areas for you when you graduate. All right, so I want you to stop now, and I want you to close your eyes again. And I want you to imagine a person who studies a STEAM field in college and goes on to change the world. Did you picture you?